All right, guys, this is Audie Murphy with Audie Murphy Gaming. We are going to be building a John Root of Peterbilt 389 from, you know, from what you would get in the game. I figured it'd be a nice little thing just to build the truck, let you see all the customizations to it. It is a nice truck. Uh, actually, it's a pretty cheap mod. It's only 25 bucks, so it's not like a Dom's mod or a Texas Custom mod or any other mod, actually. In my opinion, they are the best. He's got some of the best mods. Like, there's low, hardly any glitching. So, check him out. I'll leave his link in the description. But, we'll start by building us a John Ruta Peterbilt 389. Alright, we're going to go through the sleeper choices here. So, we got day cab, 48 flat top, 72 flat top, 72 high roof. And, or, yeah, no, 72 flat top. Uh, and then we got a 72 high roof. My bad. I think we're going to go with the flat top. The 72 flat top this time. Uh, just because it looks good. You know. But, you know, it looks pretty cool. And we're going to do frame. Now, we, it does have quite a bit on frames. Uh. Unfortunately, some of them do take your, you know, you got the drop-down version. There's a version I just had. That's a lowered version. Stretched. Stretched and lowered. Uh, you know, triaxle. Uh, lowered. You know, there's a few of them. Uh, you know, one with three rear ends. Uh, lowered. You know, of course, that. But I'm more... I normally go with this style here, cause just because, like, on the game, there's a lot of tight, tight turning. So, you know, I tend to go with a shorter frame truck. And the reason I like this flat top roof is because when you add the stacks, it just, you know, you can actually, it makes the stacks look taller. And plus, it's one of my favorite style trucks, you know. So, we can go through the motors, you know, there's the C15 Cat. You know, uh, there's a few motors in here that are Z mods. I imagine a couple more Z mods, but like this one here, this Z mods Detroit uh, Diesel Series 60. To me, that is the best sounding Z mod I found. So, like, that's the motor I usually go with. I mean, but minus the Z mod motors, all these do come with the John Ruta truck. Every one of the motors, and the, it's the same motor pack and light pack for all of his trucks and. Uh, the light pack for his trailers will pack, same. So, uh, you will find a little complications in there, but you just got to go through. And when you extract your files, just take the only the truck mod so you're, you know, you don't have your computer trying to duplicate everything. It's easy. I mean, but here's transmissions. I always go with the 18 speed just because I shift and I use the eat in 18 speed uh, like it's meant to. And then we got course the inside so kind of got to look this way here we'll go this way it's gray uh, then it takes away your GPS and stays gray then it changes it to light brown and you know it just gives you some gauges pretty much uh, that's pretty much what it gives you uh, we're not gonna do paint job yet we'll do uh, I'll tell you what we'll do inside customization okay so you know you got a couple options here for the CB uh, so we got blue, old school, you know, you remember the Cobra 19, Channel 19s. Uh, you got your colors, uh, and I think you can change uh, mic style, which, uh, that's, that's one way of, let's see. Ooh, uh, no, that's something totally different there. Oh, uh, that's visor. You got hanging items. Now, this is part of John Ruta's uh, pack, but actually a lot of the... Some of it's added by John Ruta, but you can get this uh, pack right here from Steam. Just type it in. He tells you to go to Steam to get it. You know, you can change, like, uh, me, I'm always, I work on the back first. So, you know, it's outside work. But, you know, like, you can put the American flag, uh, covers, pillows. I always put the American because, you know, truck driving is really, you know, American thing to me, you know. You know, of course, you got to add the stars. I mean, you can add a lot of features to this truck. Like, uh, that is, um, you know, you can add the the dial for the AC and looks like speaker. 
you know, um, then, you know, it's, it's got a lot of customizations, so, here, let me stay back here, and do, like, uh, so you can customize that to Chrome, I mean, there's a lot of stuff you can do to this truck, like cup holder, you know, of course, you gotta have the Red Bull, you gotta have the Red Bull, air shifters, you got this, you can even have the bent shifter, uh, straight, you know, that looks like stock, bent, and then you got the high boy. Now, me personally, I don't like for my shifter to block my view. So, I'm like, mm, you know, I don't really care for it. Uh, uh, stickers. You can add stickers. So, what do you want to add back here? You know, there's plenty of room for stickers. Um, you know, you got the bald eagle. You know, we got to have some. You got to put the American in here, man. You, know, you got truck driver. American. American. Or you can add all the stickers you want. I imagine there's probably something to click over here and say there's not really. It. So it's just pretty much a sticker based anyway. So, like, you know, but truck does look really good. I mean, uh, you know, you can add them on both sides. I'm actually going to jump out of it and jump back in it because uh, for some reason it wasn't letting me. But, you know, we got the shifter down there, Red Bull. I think you can change carpet. Uh, put rug, uh, rug mats. Put floor items. You can put, I think you can change floor to texture to, that'd be the color brown, gray, and then wood. I, I like the wood. You know, I don't complain. But, you know, it's the, for its price though, you can't really go wrong. You can change the seat, different style of seat. Like, you can even give yourself a luxury seat, you know, if you want to. Um, you know, and that's the upholstery. So we can change the style and give it that's more of the modern look. This is more of the back in the day look. So, stern wheel uh, comes with the pack too, uh, and it's part of your DLC pack too. So make sure you have your DLC pack. But we got, you know, quite a bit of stern wheels, fire flames. You know, but me, when it comes to stern wheels, I kind of like the stock. But we can't add like uh, chrome around our gauges. Chrome here, you know, simple. But you know, it does work. You can add like uh, hanging items, uh, items to your dash, you know, stuff like that. Uh, you can add the chrome to that. You, know, you can add your normal, you know, window items like that's not, but yeah, you can on your GPS. Uh, you can actually go in here and hit your window sets, and if you go down to like down to the bottom. Now, I don't know if they work right off the bat, but you can actually, one face is passenger, one face is driver. So you gotta keep that in mind too though, like, you know, um, uh, which one faces, so. And then you go over here and you can add your GPS on this side. So say, you know, not there, but right here, we can add GPS. Uh, I don't know if that one there, like down there just looks tacky. So we'll go back with this one. Um, quite a bit you can actually do to the truck like the truck has a lot to do to it like I mean I'm only going to show you the basics of it so the video ain't 50 minutes long but I'll show you, you know, the gist of it uh, so you can change so now we're on the outside now it there's quite a bit to do on the outside but it ain't like over complicated you know it ain't like everything's just crammed together you know like on some of the mods like Pinga has a great truck, like, I love Pinga trucks, and they're uh, really nice, but it gets complicated when you're trying to do a Pinga truck, it does, like, really, it, it'll get you complicated, so we'll go kind of old school, uh, let's see, so headlights, I mean, you can see more of the new versions, the old versions, uh, I mean, he's a good light selection, like, really great light selection, but me, I'm calling a I'm kind of on like, hmm, do I want to go old school with it? And then, you know, how do I want to, do I want to put a blinker here? Or do I want to just put chrome? Chrome kind of, kind of flows there. Uh, how do I want to do the bumper? Do I want to do that kind of bumper, this kind of bumper, or that kind of bumper? You know, or do I want to do just a regular run-of-the-mill bumper? Uh, and for me, I like to skip, so like, 
You can even put tags in it. I, I seem to always put tags towards the end of it. And I always put, you know, my three favorite states. But, you know, uh, these are lights that do come with the, the mod itself. Uh, you got, like, you know, if you want to stay by code or whatever it is, you know, by law, you know. So I'll say we, we'll just go do this real quick. And we'll skip every other one. So the video ain't, you know. Wait, hold on. I think I went one to me. I'll probably get it wrong. Yeah, that's what I did. There's a whole lot. You can add a whole lot of lights now. I'm not that guy. Um, I put a, you know, I like my chicken lights. I love my running lights, but I don't love them too much to where, like, it looks like freaking Christmas tree running down the road at night. You know, you can have too many. I seen a mod the other day. Um, the guy had so many, he looked like he had over a thousand lights just on the truck. You know, like, wow, you know, it's a whole lot of lights. And you're sitting there thinking, wow, it took him a while. Because it does take you a while to put lights on your truck. Like, I think that's one of the time consumings right there is just the lights itself. Is how long it takes you to do your light. So, you know, that looks good. To me, I'm not overtaking it. I'm not, you know, uh, you know, we got a variety of grills. I'm not going to say it's the best variety of grills, but it is a nice variety. Um, my favorite one is this one, you know, of course. You know, and uh, we can go with a cover, you know. And then, if I'm not mistaken, you can change the color, you know, but, you know, chrome. Come on now. We all know some of the chrome go together. But, hey, you know, times are changing. So, of course, we got the Pete logo. Got, the, you know, bug guard. And then we got, you know, change your, uh, um, ornament, ornament. You know, it's got the swan, the duck, you know. I think, I mean, it's cool. Then up here, you know, you got your fenders. Um, I am not a fan of this. Uh, I think it looks tacky, but you know, some people are. Uh, you can give it a low right fender, uh, kind of old school, and then you can put your light right here. These are lights for John Ruda, but be careful because, you know, one is left side and one is right side. So you got to be careful because you will put, you know, I've learned that, you know, you want, you know, it to be your parking light too. You know, that's the cool thing about it. You can change this to chrome. Now, you do got a couple variants here to, uh, like, you know, uh, let's see. We'll go ahead and put that logo on there. Um, now, on his, I, okay, so you got to look. Uh, it does get thick, like pretty thick. You know, um. See, that one there kind of covers up everything, covers up your tank. But when you do it like this, you kind of got to find you a fat light. Like, because you want to cover up a lot of chrome too, though. So, you know, you kind of want a big light to go with it. So it takes up more. That's just my style. Now, you know, imagine everybody's style ain't like my style. So, but, like, when I do it like this, it just seems like the lights are touching there. Oh, it's annoying. But it is what it is, you know. Or sometimes I just like to go without lights, you know. You know, minimize my uh, minimize my light use. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, of course you can get your, you know, a uh, little turn signal light here, uh, hanging on your mirror, which a lot of trucks do carry. That you can put lights on your tr uh, mirror. Not a big fan of that personally. Um, just never have been. But we can stretch our breather out. We can. Uh, Give us some breather lights. So, and we'll go see what kind of light, what light do we want to put on here? Hmm. I mean, you can you can ultimately put any light you want. Me, I kind of do like uh, in real life because you know my family, a lot of my family drives trucks, so I tend to do you know. But the other day, I did see a semi. Um, it lit up purple, so I don't know if they changed. I, I guess it's according to what state too, though. But in Michigan, I always thought you had to run, you know, orange in the front, red in the back, and other than that, you could run as long as you was parked. So wow, they ain't changed so much. I can't keep up with it. I do know uh, anything 
facing forward, supposed to be orange. Anything, you know, forwards and oh, it's kind of hard to tell you how the law works, but like your running lights, you know, your side lights, they need to be orange. Uh, anything behind it, like behind your anything facing back can be red. Anything on the front and side need to be orange. Something like that. I don't know it by the book. Um, don't get me lying to you. Like, I really don't know it. Uh, but we can change tanks out. You can put a death tank. You know, guys want to stick to, you know, the rules. There's a death tank for that, too. Uh, that's our main mirror. That's our chops. We can put chops on it. Me, not a fan. Um, we got 7-inch pipes. I mean, seven all the way up to 10-inch, I believe. Yeah, 10 inch. Now, a lot of guys like 10 inch. Me? Ugh, that's just not me. I am not that dude. And 10 inch looks good on some occasions. That's cool, but I'm not. The biggest I want to go is like an 8 inch. And hey, if you run 10 inch, hey, that's, you, that's your style, nobody else's, you know? So ain't nobody can sit there and say, oh, blah, blah, blah. You know? Now, I have noticed with this here, because of the way the horns are set up. I have to leave a center light if I don't want the, I mean, really, it's really not a big ordeal, but I just don't like seeing my horns go through my lights, so you got to have horns, you know, you got to honk at stupid people, so, but, you know, and then you add your horns into it, like, say, I'm just going to go my basic horn, oh, I got that wrong, didn't I, but, so I went my basic horn, you know, and, uh, you know, of course, of course, I gotta get it wrong every time. You know, I can't remember uh, half the time. So, you know, you got your uh, got beacon lights. Actually, you can put, uh, like, say, antenna. You can do antennas out. And you can also add a beacon light. I mean, you got four ways to put antennas. Um, let me rotate around so I can get to them. So, uh, you can add a CB. You can literally add four antennas. We'll just add them just because. Uh, then you go right here, and you can add. This is the color of the inside of your truck. But if you don't want that color, you can uh, literally add these. Um, but yeah, you can put them on your mirrors. You can put them on the cab. And then you come back here, add you another one. Then rotate to the back right here. Add you a backup light. Me match same color. You can add you some. Uh, now, I, I don't know if it's just me, um, but I ain't able to, uh, um, I ain't able to find a uh, headache rack for this truck. And we all know when you haul flatbed, hey, you gotta have a headache rack, you know what I mean? That's not stuff from coming through. So, uh, yeah, I can add that dog box. So, it's called a suspension cap, but uh, me personally, you know, we'll leave it like that. But. You, know, you can add this here in the center. I'm not going to get too extravagant with it, you know. Um, when I build on the drive, you can add a uh, glow underneath it. Um, and it can be a beacon light underneath it, too. So that's pretty cool. I, I ain't going to knock that. I like that idea. Uh, your fender, of course, your basic fenders. Uh, you know, this just takes away your back back here. Um, you know, that's pretty cool. Now, the rims... Uh, he does have 24 inch, uh, you know, this would be the Peterbilt style factory rim, not the 24, because Peterbilt factory, I believe, is 22.5, but, you know, you got your caps, you can add Peterbilt, but here's the thing, do you see where the lug nuts do not match up, that's why I never add them, I just add what he sends with me, then you can go on and get your look nuts, you know. Let's go ahead and add one here so I don't forget and look tacky going down the road. Uh, tires. Um, here's where the thing comes in with the tires. Uh, I'll show you. It it eats your rim. So, like, you know, it does. It eats your rim. It takes your rim down a size. Um, it takes your rim down from being a 24.5 to a 22. Um, I just, you know, don't care for it that much.